Hi, uh, welcome to my channel. In this uh, short video, I'll be talking about how to compute file checksums using Bouncy Castle API, uh, specifically iDigest interface. So, uh, if, uh, this is usually a very common requirement to compute the checksum of a file to uh, verify the to verify the integrity of the file. So, we can use this uh, method to compute the checksum. So, if there is a need for you to uh, determine if the file has, if the contents of the file have been tampered in any way or if it has been uh, corrupted uh, if it was last when it was stored, you can compare it with the last known uh, checksum of the file. Okay, so let's get uh, started on this one. Oh, hi, uh, welcome to the channel. Today I'll show you how to compute a checksum of a file. It uh, should be a very short video. So I'll show you how to compute a checksum or it's also called as a hash. So what I have done is I have created a simple UI again in uh, WinForms using Bouncy Castle. I'll show you the code in a minute, but let's see first how this tool works like, uh, how this looks like. So I'll just start this tool. So it's a very simple tool. All you have to do is select the file whose checksum is to be computed. So I'll browse and so I have a Word document here. I'll select this Word document file, click open, select the algorithm to be used. So I'll, for example, I'll select the SHA 256 digest algorithm and I'll say compute the checksum. So it gives me this checksum, which can be then used if you want to uh, send it across to someone or if you just want to verify the, the hash of a file yourself. So you can use this code or you can also download this tool from the link which I have given in the description. And okay, how do we verify whether this uh, checksum computed by my code is uh, accurate? So what I have done is, so I visited a website here. So this is online website, uh, online calculator. So I'll use the same file, I'll drop the same file here. And if I say SHA256, you can see it computes the same what is being computed uh, by this by my tool which is this file checksum which i am calling so here you see is the file checksum which has been shown here exactly matches with what this tool converts so for different let's see compute the sha1 so it comes up with this file checksum and i can also change the algorithm here so if i use sha1 and say compute checksum so as you can see, it computes the same checksum which is calculated by this online calculator. So again, they are matching. Let's select the MD5 algorithm and I'll select the MD5 algorithm here as well and say compute checksum. So again, it is matching with the online calculator. So this tool is computing the checksum in the correct way. In addition to what is being offered on this in, on this online calculator, I have selected all, I have provided all the options which are provided by the Bouncy Castle. For example, you can also have a SHA512 algorithm. So if I use this, you get this big string. So, and in addition, you have Tiger Digest. So, so you have all these options here. This is very simple code should be in fact just a few lines of code which i'll just show you now so i'll just uh, close this and uh, let's look at the code so this is the code which as i said is not that uh, hard to follow let me first look at the sorry about the weight here it uh, i'm running this in the vmware so it's slightly slower so, yeah, so this is the UI which has been created in WinForms and again so yeah simple UI and let's look at this file here. So when we load the file I populate the combo box with all the various algorithms the various digests provided by Bouncy Castle. If you have not seen the previous tutorials please make sure to go and watch the previous tutorials in the security series so starting from the beginning and this should be very very simple to follow so all the steps which are necessary in all the videos have already been explained in the first one 
So if you go through the first video in the security series, that should explain you how you can install a uh, Bouncy Castle in your uh, .NET uh, solution. So when we browse for the file, it just opens a standard file browser dialog and opens the file. And when you click on the compute checksum button, uh, we just call a method called compute checksum, which passes in the name of the file and the algorithm which has been selected from the combo box. And it calls a method called compute checksum. All it does is it opens the files, reads the file, um, the read all the bytes, I should say. And uh, once we have the bytes read, we just call the bounce. Uh, we just call the uh, method called as block update, passing in the bytes and the length of the bytes. We just get the hash out of it, which is then uh, shown in the UI. So very simple, really. All it is just is a two-liner code. This is what it is calling block update on the algorithm which we are using and then calling the do final method to compute the hash and then that hash is shown on the screen in the UI box there. Hopefully this should be simple enough to follow if you have any doubts or if you have any questions uh, please mention them in the comments below really I would be if you want anything else to be seen there so hopefully this should be very simple to follow. So thank you very much. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.